you know what, there's hope. Less than nine months. We have an election. I, want, I stopped by Vicki Oates. Mr. Here's Chairman, the information. Mr. Yes, Mr. Commissioner Dean, I think this is out of line. Yes, really? yes. Wait a minute. Mr. Megan. We have a order. We have a point of order. That moment from the November 21st St. John's County Commission meeting led to the board censuring Commissioner Krista Joseph a few weeks later, citing a violation of the commission's civility rules. This week, Krista Joseph fights back by filing a federal lawsuit against her fellow commissioners. More from the November 21st meeting. Well, there's three open seats. No one here has to, you know, has come up to say they're running again. Mr. And I was actually going to say which is on public. Um, I D1, Anne Marie Evans is running, D3. Yeah, Bill I don't Freeman's believe you running. can campaign on that Heather, I'm not campaigning. I'm saying what right. is on the website for okay, Vicki Oates' is public. This is a public service announcement about elections and who's already signed up to run for the county commission Commissioner, seats. I, I believe you've crossed the line with our decorum and civility policy. I would ask you to refrain from making any more comments on that topic. Okay, but I, I, why can't I say the election is in nine months, less than nine months? Local attorney Gabe Roberts gives his take on the federal lawsuit filed by Joseph. My read of the lawsuit is that this is a lawsuit seeking to essentially protect uh, a potential infringement on Commissioner Joseph's First Amendment rights. Essentially, it's a case about ensuring that, you know, she as a politician has the right to make political speech without being afraid of criminal sanctions being brought against her for doing what it is that, you know, she's been elected to do. An attorney hired by the commission filed a report that said that Joseph likely violated Florida Statute 104.31 which reads as follows. No officer or employee of the state or of any county or municipality thereof shall use his or her official authority or influence for the purpose of interfering with an election or a nomination of office or coercing or influencing another person's vote. Breaking Florida Statute 104.31 carries a criminal misdemeanor charge under state law. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. It's time to remember a hero in the city of St. Augustine Beach. Today marks the 49th anniversary of the brutal death of Beach Marshal Ron Parker killed in the line of duty during a traffic stop. City of St. Augustine Police Chief Daniel Caswell has details about the morning ceremony. Which will involve the St. Augustine Beach Police Honor Guard as, as well as the St. John's County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard, St. John's County Fire Rescue, and uh, we'll have attendees from law enforcement and first responders all over the state attend, as well as the Parker family and friends. The ceremony is being held at 10 a.m. at Ron Parker Park at 607 Old Beach Road. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. The weekend is here and there's plenty of family fun to be had in St. John's County. This is Stacy with Fun for Augie Kids. Make plans to attend the Treasures of the Beach event. Join the St. John's County Park Naturalist for an engaging walk and come learn how to identify treasures on the beach, where they came from, and so much more. Join Creative Me Art Studios for a Cookies and Canvas class. Cookies and Canvas allows blooming artists to paint with acrylic paint on an 8x10 canvas and enjoy cookies and milk during break time. Join the fun at the inaugural Big Chili Polar Bear Plunge and Chili Cook-Off. Whether you're a pepperhead, a plunger, or both, this is a weekend not to be missed. This weekend, be sure to visit the St. Augustine Arts and Crafts Festival. This is a laid-back venue filled with some of the nation's best artists and crafters. For more on these events and others, please visit us on our website at fun, the number four, augiekids.com. Have a great weekend. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.